Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another day in the life of a marketing manager. I just finished doing some journaling. I've been trying to write more positively because I find that in the past, I always write um, kind of about the negative, sad, upsetting things in life but I'm trying to be more positive and just kind of think of this as a new chapter in my life. I mean, I have a great job. Um, I keep getting, I guess, like promoted and given more responsibilities. I'm moving to a new apartment. I'm moving, like there's just a lot of exciting things going on and I just want to cherish that and feel grateful and just kind of like live in that for a little bit. So got my journaling done. I'm doing a little bit of planning on um, my Notion. I've got quite a couple of things to get done this week. I'm creating a new email flow. I have this campaign that I need to um, set out. I am creating some other emails, a social ad. There's just a lot of uh, projects that I'm overseeing right now and we're still actually onboarding one of our new teammates. So I need to make sure that he feels involved and has stuff to work on, but um, also just make sure that I'm onboarding him at an appropriate pace and not just kind of bombarding him with everything, which is really easy to do when you work in a startup because I find that there's just so many moving pieces and different projects happening all at once and when you get thrown into that it can feel really overwhelming so i'm trying to create as lovely of an onboarding process for him as possible okay so i organized my notion i'm actually going to write out my to-do list for the day i still use my notion to track everything but i just find that it's a little bit easier to um like write down daily to-do lists in a notebook just so i can kind of like separate daily from weekly and overall and it'll just look something like this like i'll just draw out a week it's very it's really not that exciting but it just helps me keep track of stuff that i need to do like day by day so okay so let me just draw out my week thing like that and then just to create a little bit more of a visual separation i put little highlighter lines next to each week or no each day so i can kind of tell when one start where one starts and where the other ends so monday july 4th so today i'd like to create social ads um check aso video Ooh, schedule social and then tomorrow we'll do physicians email flow july 1st promo i haven't had my monday marketing meeting yet um, I actually have three meetings going on this morning, so there's a lot to do. But typically we use our Monday meetings to plan for the week, so I might get some more tasks uh, for the week and for today during that meeting, but it's looking reasonable for now. Okay, before we go any further, I want to thank Shortwave for sponsoring this portion of the video. Shortwave is this awesome tool that makes organizing your email a totally more efficient and more productive process. They've redesigned the idea of your email inbox. I know my email inbox gets pretty chaotic pretty quickly, so I love that they've redesigned the whole process of going through your inbox and have made it into this super streamlined process where you can prioritize what's important, snooze what's not important, and just get through everything in a quicker manner. They've designed this simple triage system. So you go through the inbox and you can pin emails that are important, snooze emails that you wanna come back to, and for emails that require no action, you hit the done button and they get swept away from your inbox. It also helps to bundle emails together that are related so you don't have to see like five different 
Amazon emails or like 10 different order emails. It bundles all of those together so you can click in one, open the little accordion and be like, okay, these are all the emails that have to do with this. Done, sweep it out of my inbox. The whole system is super, super easy to use and intuitive and they have a built-in kind of like chat style response to the emails. So you just have to hit enter, type in your response email, hit command enter and it'll send the email. If you guys are interested in trying shortwave for yourself, I do have a link in the description box which you can get a little bit of a discount when you give it a go. I'm honestly so 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 happy that they reached out to me because my inbox has been needing some help lately. It has been a little bit overwhelming especially since my work inbox has also gotten really really crazy and busy so this came at the perfect time. I think having a chaotic inbox definitely adds to my overall overwhelm and anxiety so so huge shout outs to Shortwave for helping me conquer my inbox, but also for sponsoring this portion of the video. Okay, let's get back to work. I'm gonna sort through my emails a little bit in Shortwave. official task that I am working on today is building these social ads. So I've got some copy from one of my teammates in front of me and I'm just going to start kind of mocking up some ideas for the actual graphic itself. I'm gonna see, I haven't ran an ad for a while. Facebook ad, Instagram, Instagram ad best practices. Create on brand native to the platform videos that don't look like ads. Okay. I think I will do a little video. Either video or carousel. Video could be like um, me sitting in front of camera explaining why I love truly small carousel tips for saving time for small business owners. I actually have a call in 20 minutes with the um, teammate of mine that I will be working on this project with. So I'm just gonna try to put some more ideas into the content and then chat with him about what he thinks is a better idea. Okay, I'm about to hop on my next call now. Uh, I think he decided we were going to share with them like a 25% off discount for the first year. Um, so what we'll need to do is actually create the landing page for them to be able to sign up and then you know. Just finished a call with my new teammate, Justin. Um, we just went through some questions that he had about different aspects of our business, his roles and responsibilities. He's actually so diligent. I'm so excited to have him on my team, but he wrote down a huge list of questions that we went over, which really helps me actually as a manager because it's hard to know what people need help on um, until they ask for it. And I know it can be super nerve wracking when you first join on a company to ask for help and to ask about things you don't understand but I think what people need to understand is that people you know your team can't read your mind and the best way for you to be able to learn about different things is to ask questions and ask as many questions as possibly as possible and be shameless about that because I just I wouldn't be able to help them otherwise like I can guide him as much as possible but Sometimes when you understand and have lived in this like workspace slash process for so long, you forget that 
you forget kind of the intricacies of learning about that process or kind of being onboarded into that process. So that was super, super helpful. And I think it's a great tip for um, if you are freshly joining a new company or starting a new job, this is a great way to do it. Create a huge list of questions and then just hop on a one-on-one -on -one with your supervisor and go over it just so you have a deeper understanding of what you're looking at and what you need to do. I have another meeting in about 10 minutes um, and it's going to be our weekly marketing meeting where we plan for the week. Uh, I did go over some stuff with Justin about um, how we want to execute some of the projects that we're working on and so I'm going to review that with our CEO who is my manager and yeah just get some decisions going so that we can start working away at things i'm just gonna take a quick 10 minute break just chill and reset my brain um, for this next meeting i think what i'm learning is that i don't need to fill every second of my day with work like with tasks that i'm working on and that taking these little breaks every now and again between tasks between meetings actually helps me to be more productive and just focus on what i'm doing more so yeah that is what i'm gonna do starting my next meeting now Hey Sam! Yes! Update on the July promo. Um, so on Friday, Jara said the campaign was set um, and it's under review. I emailed, or sorry, I messaged Vera today to let me know whether the campaign had been set live yet or whether that review process is finished. Just finished my meeting. It doesn't look like there's anything new other than writing an onboarding doc for somebody else that's joining on right now um yeah i do get to create a little video today for an ad which is pretty fun i really do enjoy creating content uh as for work but it's just that i don't really have time to most of the time i'm really excited about these two new team members because hopefully it means that i can really focus on some of the stuff that I enjoy doing, but yeah. You see this mess behind me, it's because I'm in the process of packing my life up, so just ignore that. I'm actually gonna make some lunch now, it's 12.36 and your girl is hungry. I'm actually going to make myself some pomodoro and then I can have it for dinner as well, hopefully. Let me find this recipe. to show you guys my garden look at how much it's grown I'm harvesting some basil just the bigger pieces so that I can use them in my pasta I need to start using some of this other stuff as well so that it's not just like overtaken my leaves didn't develop very well. Also, this is a tomato plant. I'm waiting for it to grow tomatoes though. I don't see any yet. And then I think I'm gonna use the lettuce for salads. But yeah, this is my little, my little situation here. If you guys wanna grow your own garden, I will have a link to my smart garden in the 
description. It's probably one of my favorite purchases ever. Seriously, like, I have my own garden. Okay, I did my hair and makeup um, so that I can prepare for that video that I need to shoot, but here is the pasta that I'm eating. So I just did Parmigiano cheese on top, um, a little extra sauce, black, black pepper, and then I put some of this interesting chili powder that I have called fire dust. It's like a blend of a bunch of different peppers um, because I like a little kick in my food. So I'm gonna eat this while I watch a little bit of the British Grand Prix because I missed that. And yeah, it's gonna be my little lunchtime routine here. Oh, here's something extra. 18 with Kevin Matchison, 17. 16th on the grid, Alex Albon starts the race for him. And Joe Van Yu is alongside. Then it's George Russell, the first of the race as we move up the grid. Fernando Alonso looking at a new record in distance done this weekend. Lando Norris, 6th on the grid, and Lewis Hamilton, 5th. All right, lunch finished. I'm hanging out with Mika for a little bit. And I'm actually going to be taking her out for a little walkie in a little bit. Just a little bit. High five. High five. Oh, thank you. You're so nice. You're so nice with your big old head. So I actually spoke to our team about our social ads that we were going to run and we decided to postpone it because uh, we our onboarding flow for our software right now like the web app version isn't optimized for mobile we do have a mobile app but it's more of a companion app so we decided we're just going to run ppc for the web and no social ads because i feel like social ads perform the best on mobile anyways so we're going to do that and just bench social ads until we are able to uh, set that up properly so it's just better experience for the users and will probably garner more conversions. Um, I checked on one of the video projects that we're working on and the contractor that we're, that's doing that for us. Um, so that's done. I need to schedule some social still. I need to reach out to one of our uh, partners to ask about setting up a call. And then since I don't need to do the social ad, thank you. And since I don't need to do the social ad, I'm going to start on the emails for our promo because that is going to be coming up soon. Um, I'm actually waiting for one of my tickets to our devs to be resolved before I can start on that email because uh, I just need some extra data brought into our emailing system. Um, and then the other thing was that got added is the onboarding doc for our new employee who's starting next week. So I'm gonna work on that as well. But let's work on these emails first, right Mika? Okay, even though we decided to bench the campaign, um, we're still trying to actually set up our events because, well, because it's probably good to have um, Facebook pixel events, by the way. So we've been having some issues. I'm going back and forth with my developer right now, trying to figure out what's wrong, because I keep running the tester and it doesn't seem to be receiving any activity. So hopefully we can get this fixed before the end of the day. I kind of got caught up with that, but I'll start on the emails now. I'm gonna write them out on Notion first before I put them into order, just so it becomes a little easier to edit before we actually put them into the journey. Okay, I finished writing the emails and also wrote a reference letter for one of our contractors. I'm actually finished for the day. I'm actually headed to Ikea now, but thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, hit the notification bell and the subscribe button. Comment down below if you guys wanna see more of these videos or if you have any questions about anything that I worked on today. If you guys wanna get your email inbox organized, make sure to check out Shortwave in my description. And with that, I hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I'll see you in my next video. I gotta go before the traffic gets busier. Bye.